Hello, fire signs. Yes, we're doing another fire signs. Aries, Leo, Sag. This is Brandy. Welcome back. Okay, so this is just a general reading of what may be going on in your life. Okay, it's not really sectioned around love. I asked for general for you guys. I'm trying to do more of these. Um, you can contact me below with all my information. Half fifty percent of the reading money is going towards a friend who lost her son and needs help. So you can contact me below for uh, personal readings. Anyways, we have Restore and Replenish, number 38, if that means anything to anyone. 46, Grand Train of Blessings. Last and not least, Third House Messages, number 27. Okay, so we pretty much have uh, a 10 and a 9. So, independence, cycle complete, restoring yourself, okay? I have death and hierophant on the on the bottom of the deck. I did pre-shuffle, so we could get through this a little faster. Um, you, someone out there who is needing to watch this, please hit like and subscribe, uh, by the way. Thank you. Blessings all to you. Anyways, restore and replenish. You are... Not needing just to take a nap, man. You, you're needing to rest your soul. Everything, everything with this card. Okay, that's not that's not taking a nap. That's literally doing something uh, different, right? Going to a different place, um, different routine. Taking a day, a two from work. Yes, I know that is hard sometimes, but. The weekends, do we really get rest and replenish and get to do anything that we actually want? No. No, we do not. This is a very definite message for you. Okay? You feel like you've been working so hard, but you've not seen the accomplishments because you haven't been able to take, take a moment to yourself. When you do this, you will see the blessings that uh, are actually there, that are coming. Okay? <clears throat> that's you're gonna be able to slow down and see what you've actually accomplished okay uh, what blessings are actually in your life okay you're gonna receive maybe a message that's a third house it's in your third house if you know anything about that that is like an Aquarius card um, it could be a oh, sense of surrounding cards once once you do this you may find different opportunities that open up for you um, and I've asked to clarify these, so I have the Daughter of Swords, which is Page of Swords, and Father of Pentacles, which is the King of Pentacles, okay? Because you've been trying to gather more information, you've been writing, you haven't put the pin down, you know, work, 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 okay? Sending messages, sending emails, and you're just, you're focused on that money. But, that's fine, that's dandy. You are not able to see what you've actually accomplished because you're too damn tired from trying to make that money or, you know, you haven't heard back from this person. Okay? You're very disconnected with the Five of Swords right now. Your heart and your head, your body, your mind, your soul, your spirit, they're like separated. They're not as one and that's why this has come up. Because you're needing to replenish. So if you if you've never went camping or something, it's time. <laughs> All right, I know crazy that came to my head. That's for someone, and that's you know that's without the the BS surrounding. You got to disconnect from all that. All right, the blessings is the six of pentacles and the four of cups. So something is very stable in your life, but you're not seeing it because you're bored. You're discontent. Uh, you know, you're a little bit greedy here, or you have someone around you that's like this, okay? Reciprocity, rest, rejuvenation, be able to see things clearly. Third house messages, this with the ace of wands, okay? That is definitely creation, writing, painting, um, travel, love, something very passionate for you. You're going to receive a message for this after, okay? Because that's your guidance. After you take a break 
from that. Okay, you're fine. Your stability is fine. Fire signs, this is for someone. It's fine. You're feeling like it's not, though. But it is because you're discontent, you're bored, it's the normal routine BS. Okay, that's why you need a break. And this once you do that, you're gonna you're gonna get the message. Okay, there's a, there's some form here. Do be careful. Don't share a lot of your private information. I do say that. The rest of this looks really good. I will get more. Might be uh <laughs> this is this is the bottom of the deck. There's something here that is going away that's routine. By the book. Okay, that's also Taurus Scorpio. You could be dealing with them, you could be a cusp, whatever. Okay, because the higher thing is about inner knowing, it's about tradition, it's about marriage, by the book, you know, not doing anything rebelliously. Death is transformation. Endings, beginnings. This is the phoenix rising, and it's died, and that's why it's bare bone here. Could be, <laughs> could be a marriage ending, and you becoming um, single. Uh, but once you complete this, you restore, you replenish yourself. There's a transformation that happens. There's blessings, and it's it's not always like, oh, I won the lottery. No, it's, hey man, some someone helped me uh, out with this a uh, project today, and we did really good, and we got a leg up on this. Or, hey, someone helped me pay my light bill. You know, those those things. Okay, people, let's not think of like you're gonna have the grand trumpet drop out of the damn sky. All right, that's shit don't happen. <laughs> I'm talking about real, real things here. Use this other deck. Let's get a little bit on your finances with this deck, specifically. Six of Wands for finances. What else about finances, please? For Aries, Leo, Sag, Feminine, Rising, and Venus. Hermit. Aries, Leo, Sag, Feminine, Rising, and Venus, please. All right. Yeah. Five of Pentacles, underlying energy. You've actually put yourself in this state. All you got to do is stand up. You're in the warmth. Okay. You are financially stable. Um, you are very victorious here. You're just needed to seek your inner guidance, your inner counsel, be able to see that yourself because you're not looking at what the actual options are with your finances here. So I was trying to tell you, there's real growth around you, there's real stability, there's even, you've been working very, very hard. Alright, you just need, you need a break because you're bored and you can't see it. You're too discontent with the routine, the mundane routine, because you have victory. You have success. You are just having to look at your situation in a different light, okay? Their backs are to each other. You know, there's real growth uh, stimming behind with the two of cups that he's just not looking at. He's looking at all the, the failures. The hermits need to turn around and shed the light on that for them. Okay? You're successful in this. You could be dealing also with a Virgo. You're showing up in your own reading. Alright. Now, let's get a little bit into if you're here for that because this is a general reading it's not going to fit every shoe Cinderella okay love a little bit of a love look for my fire sign sun moon rising and Venus sorry I messed up my car for you people love for you love what about love, please? Right now, presently, for my Aries Leo Sag, Sun Moon Rising and Venus. Love for Aries Leo Sag, Sun Moon Rising and Venus, presently, please. Ooh. Eight of Cups in the Hierophant, the reverse. Shit! Sorry about my mouth. I just like to be me. Unapologetically me. Love life, please, please. 
Yeah, you're not wanting to do something by the book like the ordinary way, and you're really wanting to communicate with that. You're wanting to. You you want to do something that's not the norm. Oh, temperance fell on the floor. Let me grab her. All right. To the bottom of the deck. All right. All right. All right. All right. You may be walking away from a partnership into something with a Taurus, but since it's in the reverse, uh, it's something that's not something that you are not normally used to, like a relationship that uh, is abnormal for you. But that is happiness for you, and you may have to travel for this. Okay, you're wanting to do it very fast, but temperance is here saying patience yourself, okay? Slow down. You're wanting to slide in there with words of, oh, I love you, or this could be the other person, okay? But there is action being taken with clarity, like you're happy. It could be a Leo, it could be a Sag, Taurus. Like I said, you don't really need to focus on all that, but with the Hierophant in reverse, it's just like, I don't really want marriage. I don't want this marriage. I don't want this traditional relationship. I want something that's different. You know, I want to swoop in. You may have some really crap words or someone has really crap words for you. But it's, you know, there's divine intervention here. But something's coming that is, where the hell did the death card go? That is not uh, what you're normally used to. It's definitely a shake up, a switch up. Give me more about love, please. Okay, Father of Wands, King of Wands, you're representing your own reading. It's your energy. What else, please? Yeah, very passionate. Like, you, you feel like you stand in your own, you know, like this is me, this person, or this situation. Makes you feel like me. Seven of Pentacles in the reverse. Again, we have the Hermit. Judgment. Daughter of Wands, which is Page of Wands. Yeah. Very sexual energy here. Something you're wanting to revive. Maybe this is someone that you broke up with or you um, previously divorced. Okay. Someone from your past. Maybe you guys have grown up a little bit, huh? Um, you or them didn't want to invest previously. Like, no work was really put in on it. Someone, like, withdrew. Someone was like, hey, I love you. And someone was like, nope, I'm out. But now someone's wanting to reach out and take action and give actual growth to this. Here we have the Hierophant again. Judgment, Hierophant, Ace of Swords, the Fool, the Fool, the Fool, shit, I didn't even notice that. Two Fool cards here, Aries and uh, Pisces are these cards to me. Taurus, Virgo, definite Earth signs on this table, uh, Leo. Yeah, so someone's wanting to resurrect us, very passionate about that one, like infinity symbol, rebirth, freedom, lots of birds here, lots of freedom, clarity and communication swiftly, like earth shaking, hey, I want you back, I miss you, I'm sorry I didn't work on this prior, alright, and that's really eye opening and you're going to take a leap because, ten of, uh, Ten of Cups and the Fool. Like, you didn't really know if you were sure about this or not. Do you have the wings to fly? But this is definite emotional happiness. You just had your head down, kind of in the dark. Now you need to make a choice here for rebirth or just keeping your head down and going on with the normal routine BS, all right? Aries, Leo, Sag, something like that. The definite message here is though you are definitely distant. You're not happy with what is in front of you. Okay, you could have children. 
your life is affected by them and you've just been discontent. You don't know whether to go. You don't want to stay. Remember, I'm reading for a lot of people. Do not let your friends help you. You, you do not. You need to seek your own inner counsel, like I said earlier. You need to extend your lighthearted energy, though. That means you need to rejuvenate yourself to get this. You are in separation from this person. You're not in sync with your own body. You do deserve love, but right now you can't have that. Okay? You have a past life relationship, and you're needing to work on yourself and replenishing yourself before you can give to anyone. You don't need to extend that energy to any of your friends, apparently. It was in reverse. I'm going to get an angel oracle. See, I think my videos are boiling. <laughs> Let me know if any of this resonates. Because like I said, this is... I'm pulling energy for many fire signs. If you need something more personal, I can pull from your energy. I'll look at a photo of you. I just go from that. That's how I get your energy. If that's not available, I'll just focus on your name. Uh, you'd be amazed how accurate that can be when I actually have a real person in front of me. Like I said, 50% of those proceeds are going to a co-worker friend who lost her son and does not have any money uh, to pay for this. That's torientaro 84 at gmail.com. Okay. Aries, Leo, Sag, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, please let me in a message about this general reading for them. Okay. Dearest you, we're sending you waves of love and joy as so we watch you reap the rewards of your tenacity and faith. We know how long it has taken for you to reach some of your goals and that you've had disappointments along the way. Right now, we suggest you take a deep breath and fill yourself up with gratitude and tune it into the vibration of well-being. Temporary conditions may be trying to hypnotize you into seeing something else as your reality, but we know that happy rewards are on their way to you. The blessings, folks. The discontent. Change is the only constant, so be open to it. You will achieve your dreams and more, we promise, but more important, your happy rewards will be gathered up in the small moments, the gentle breezes, the soft kisses, and the quiet commitments. Your happiest moments will be on the journey itself, not at arriving at any destination. And that's pretty much my entire reading summed up here. You need to replenish yourself. Do not involve your friends. Do not speak to them. You are needing your own inner counsel, your own intuition, okay? I'm going to leave it at that, my love. Let me know.